Hey guys, Mike here at MA Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, today we're going to dive into a new piece of software that I obtained, which is an awesome plugin from Maya, and it uh, contains a, a camera lattice option, and it's really sweet. Now, I'll start off by explaining what a lattice is, because maybe not all of you use that. Okay, so I'll just first demonstrate the standard lattice deformer tool in, uh, in Maya, and then we'll get into the uh, new plugin by Tool Chefs. Okay, cool. So first we're going to just go to our polygon menu, and we're just going to create, you know, uh, a basic polygon shape. Let's do, let's say, a, um, a sphere. Okay, we're going to drag that out. All right. Now, First of all, if you want to deform anything, you need to have subdivision. Now, um, a sphere will typically have subdivision, but if you, for example, have a cube like that, kind of hard to deform that without subdivision. So in that case, you would add a little bit more up here, right? By um, increasing these numbers. All right, so we got our sphere. We're gonna go up to animation. We're going to go to create deformers. We're going to go to lattice, hit the option box. And here you can uh, set up, um, you know, how it's structured. So I'm just going to leave this at, I think that's default. We'll just reset that. Actually, it's two, but we'll do 10 by 10 by 10. It's a bit high, but that's okay. And we're going to hit create. So what it does is it creates a box around your object and the number of lines you see here depends on the values that we just entered, okay? And what you can do is you can right click on that green box, go to lattice point, and you can drag select a number of vertices, hit W to move them, for example. Now what you're doing is you're deforming the object inside, okay? So it's kind of a, um, I wouldn't necessarily call it the sculpting tool, but it definitely deforms the object. And this can be really helpful. For example, I did a tutorial on how to model an ice cube. Now, as you know, an ice cube is not 100% square. It's kind of, uh, you know, dented and so forth. So I did that with the lattice tool. And that's what that is. Okay. So that's the normal lattice. Now, the cool thing about the uh, Tool Chef software, and I'll just get rid of this guy here. Okay. The cool thing about that is you can attach a lattice to a camera, right? And actually, you can set up multiple cameras with multiple lattices and even more than one lattice per camera. Now, what's the point of that? I'll show you. I'm just going to create a couple of polygon objects. We'll hit G to repeat that. We'll do one here, G again, we'll do one there. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up two different cameras. So we're going to go to create cameras, select camera. We'll pull that one back and maybe raise it a little bit. All right. That will be a camera one. And then we're going to go to create camera once again. And we'll move that one over here. Hit F to zoom in, and as you can see, we need to rotate that guy a little bit. So we'll do that. Okay. So now, if we go into our panel view perspective, we can choose to look through camera one or camera two. So that's our view through camera one, and that's our view through camera two. All right. So we've got our camera set up, we've got our object set up. Now we are going to start our Tool Chef software. Okay, where's my second camera? Let's see, make sure I didn't lose it. Okay, makes sense. I was looking through it. Okay, all right. So we're going to take one of these cameras. Let's do camera one, and we're going to go to the Tool Chefs tab and let's open that. Okay, so now this is my uh, my menu here. Uh, I got the option to hit the plus key here because there are cameras set up. So I can hit plus and I can depend, um, determine how many lines I want in my lattice like I did before, but in this case projected from the camera. 
So let's do 10 by 10 and hit OK. And there we go. And remember, we have one, we have camera one, and we have camera lattice one. Okay. Now I'm going to click on add. Okay. And we'll do 10 by 10. There we go. And now we're going to start to play with this. Okay. So we're going to right click, we're going to go to vertex. And if we now drag select these vertices and hit W, we can move them around, but you're seeing that the objects are not changing yet. Okay. And I'll show you why. Go back to our menu. Right in this area, you need to add the objects that you want to uh, be affected by the lattice. Now, what's interesting is you don't have to add them all. You can have one object in your scene be affected by the lattice and the other two are not and so forth. Okay. But in this case, I'm just going to right click at object mode, drag select those. Okay. And you can see that this now turns yellow and we're going to hit plus and it's adding all the selected objects to the lattice. Okay. So now if I right click, go to vertex and drag select these vertices, for example, as you can see, my object is starting to deform. All right. And it's being done by the camera view that we have selected. Okay. So before we switch those views, as you can see, when I zoom in and out, it's responding to the way we set up the lattice. But also, if I take one of these objects and I move it through the lattice, you can see that it's deforming. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Okay, we're going to go back to our menu. And we are going to hit plus right there. And let's do 20 by 20. There we go. And now you see we have three lattices set up on one individual camera. So I can switch to that one, switch to that one, and so forth. Okay. Now down here, um, this is a setup. For example, if you have certain vertice points set up, so we'll right click vertex. I'll take these, for example, right? What you can do is you can uh, select all the points that you have edited. Okay. So if I were to change these right and I would say I'll just click out of that and I would say select all edited points it's gonna edit take the ones that we just moved right you can also say okay I want uh, all the static edited points I want the uh, point selection inverted so I'll have everything except these right there you go and it's pretty neat to play with especially the option that you can move these objects through your scene, all right? So I encourage you guys to check out Tool Chefs, check out their camera lattice tools. They actually have a couple of other uh, cool tools as well, but I found this one uh, pretty interesting because I was doing some stuff with lattices. So uh, I'm going to see if I can incorporate this in an animation. Now, how would that work? Let's say you have a character walking through your scene and during the walk cycle, you want his head to bop up and down, right? For example, one of the things you can do there. Uh, some people use blend shapes for facial animation. For example, uh, this could also be really suitable to help you in that process. Okay, but I'm going to leave that up to your own imagination. Uh, so check these guys out. Thank you guys for watching. Love to see you guys again. Bye.